Hello, welcome back again to NX tutorial. So this tutorial, I still same given tutorial, the about the NX motion. So in here we have such as a multi body actually. It's not an assembly. Uh, it's actually a modeling. You can see in here is a multi body. We have a cam, and also we have a valve. Yes. Now we going to make this multi body moving and want to know how much the spring I mean the spring constant the spring uh, fill length and fill loaded etc to install in here in order to make a good a uh, contact between this moving object and this uh, path of uh, movement you can see in here also now the first thing I should do is as usual is create new simulation we go to the uh, dynamics in here and the next thing we should do is to create link now the moving object is the valve okay the valve from here to here meanwhile the stationary object is this part and here is just rotating in this axis and also this part is rotating in this axis so the first thing we should create is the moving link here I click apply okay the stationary part so in the real condition there are spring will be inst installed in this area from here to here in here also the next is this part okay this is the final link now we have seven link link number one is the moving object three and four gonna be stationary five six and seven just only rotating okay now we create joint in here we're gonna create regular join in this part I will specify the origin in here the factor perpendicular of the surface just only click the surface okay you can see is a uh, rotation rotation relatively to the ground you can see the symbol in here so this is a join with rotation relatively to the ground I also gonna do the same thing for this is also rotate relatively to the ground relatively to the ground you can see the symbol this is a ground symbol so I have three joints the level joint rotation relatively to the ground now in this link, uh, the stationary link, I just click fixed link, so it means it's just fixed. As you can see, when I click here, it's also added in here, so it's a fixed link. Now, the next thing, uh, in order to make it a contact between all those link, I should create a 3D 3D contact. Now 3D contact the action here. It will be contact with this part. It is also the same with this. So it means that when it's rotating, the, it will follow the cam uh, profile in here. You see in here the cam profile. Now in here, it's just only uh, only uh, contact, just only pushing in here also. Okay. Now let me check. there's a contact in there contact in there contact in there contact in there so in here the the parameter you can see the basic stiffness the exponent material uh, uh, damping in here because this part is very uh, stiff actually it's uh, 
a hardened object so maybe I just get metal damping maybe about almost a zero maybe maybe about five round per second per inch so actually NX automatically create this this type of a uh, type of value that should be inserted in order to make this simulation looks good but you can edit all the parameters now the next step I should do is to create a spring now in the real condition the spring gonna install it in here as I previously mentioned but NX simulation cannot uh, create a 3d object that act as a spring so we have in here some kind of spring sp spring connector uh, spring connector can be inserted in the link on the slider joint or on the reflect joint so for example if you have um, a torsional spring you can insert in the reflect joint but if you have, have a push spring or pull spring you can insert in the slider joint so in here the first thing I should do now is to in to add a slider joint in order I need to add the spring so in here we have slider joint in here now the slider joint is almost similar like cylindrical joint but cylindr cylindrical joint it allows the part to rotate and to sliding but in here it's just only allowed to sliding not allowed to rotate okay let me add the action link in here the base link is the stationary one the origin maybe I want to place in here the direction is perpendicular of the surface I click apply now here I have a slider joint action and here the factor the base link is the stationary object okay so now I have two slider uh, join in here now the next thing I should do is to add some spring by selecting the slider join for example in here but how much the number that I should install in here and should uh, type in here so maybe I go to analysis first in order to find out the installed length of this uh, spring I click measure distance go to center looking for the center oh, sorry okay I get the center next thing click here 1.8 inches okay so in here I it just mean I should insert 1.8 inches to insert length 0.8 the value maybe I should I can leave it as a 10 but in order to uh, to keep push this mechanism this this uh, surface I should add a preload in here the preload maybe just only add one and also I should add the preloaded length uh, I will take preload length as a half of this so 0 0.9 so I click apply now I need to insert in here also I should so, so in order to make that sort length in here maybe I'm gonna add the same thing because when it's rotating the installed length should be same in here okay so now I have spring loaded you can see the symbol spring in here also now the next thing after you complete all this you go to solution ah, the second I think it's enough 500 is okay now after this I go to solve but uh, this doesn't yet have any uh, driving force so what I need to do now is to add some driver in here I can go to polynomial uh, maybe over 10 revolution per seconds about 360 mm, maybe I should 
starting with 60 degrees per second so one revolution per, per second click OK then click solve now the NX uh, calculating you can see in here there's a uh, progress a status if the simulation involves 3D contact then the, sim the simulation time required uh, uh, takes time it will be longer if involved with the contact because uh, it's I think it's very in the real condition so we go to animation let's check ah, you can see the movement I think is good maybe I could just join okay you can see the movement I think is good it's because uh, in here uh, always keeping at the contact Meanwhile, uh, it's also in here. You can see. Uh, I guess it's smooth along. As you can see, it keep the contact. Maybe I should enhance the graphical appearance in here. So make it smoother. Ah, so no, it becomes smoother. Now I can step forward. You can see it always keep the contact. Is because the spring is uh, preloaded. You can see it's a 3D contact. The spring is preloaded. Now you can see it have a smooth movement, and also you can see in here it always keep the contact continuously. You can see in here. So. Uh, the message is uh, what you should do when you insert the spring spring connector in order to make this a good contact you should create the preload and also the preloaded length so it will keep a uh, push the the mechanism okay that's it uh, thank you very much for your kindly watch my video I will upload my next video also uh, still about uh, NX motion simulation. Thank you very much and good day.